I've done a few little things since last being on, and don't worry, it's nothing too major. Um, I've been grinding this, as it probably looks a bit different with the anvil on here, because I've created Fishy Boy. Yeah, I've named it Fishy Boy. Whereas I'm breaking three, lower three, mending one, and look at the sea, and it also has Curse of Vanishing, so I've sort of taken a risk just in case if any creepers come up behind, blow me and kill me. I've got that, um, and I'll lose it. So I need to try and get another one without Curse of Vanishing. I'm, I know you can disenchant, but I think it disenchants it all off, which isn't the best thing in the world. I did have a lure of three, and I know I'm not saying it right. Unbreaking three, um, actual fishing rod, but then I got mending and a look of the sea too, which is unreal because now I can just get loot instantly. I've got way too much fish for my own gourd. These water bottles, actually, I can sort of go to my actual um, enchantment slash thingy area, my potions room. That's it. I can create my go to my brewing room, and I don't need to create any buckets or anything anymore, which is absolutely fantastic from my part. And I meant bottles, not buckets. So, as you see in the title of this episode, is something uh, other than a sugarcane farm. And why have I got a cow in my house? I told you. I've got an infestation of these things, so you need to die. And yeah, I've I've dug out quite a big area in this room to sort of sort it out. Anyway, now we've got that sorted out. Coach door behind me said we don't have to get a cow in here. I, I think it came through the outside, to be honest with you, because I definitely want to come through my house. Now I've got the cow out of the way. All we need to do now is create a back border for this area over here. So then that's perfect like that. And then we grab the pistons, we put the pistons up here on the second level. And then the observer, we need to make it so it's level with our door. So I've done mine nine wide. So it's one, two, three, four. So I know the fifth one will be the one that's level with the door. And it looks like it actually is. So from this bit, let me just dig it back a little bit more. So you people aren't hurting your eyes and straining them. So this bit we just need to sort of build up to behind the observer and we just need to build all the way across the back of here and uh, get rid of the torch um, and then let me put my redstone repeaters on here oh no I can't jump oh no um, yeah screw it I'll dig up one more uh, put the redstone repeaters there so that it's lined up all the way on the back and if I'm going too quick for you please please be sure to uh, pause it rewind do whatever you need to do to be able to follow along now I just build back here with all the redstone and I need to build up back one more actually so that builds all the way back there now that's it that's literally a complete build of the actual automated farm. I'll put that on there. You see how they're all just shot. And when the sugar cane grows, it will uh, sort of retaliate in that form of matter towards the sugar cane. So let's put all them there. I need to try and make this look pretty and identical and other things, which it's gonna probably look like that. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna use a single chest because I know this isn't the biggest one. But it will get me the sugar cane I actually need. So then you put the chest there, crouch, put the actual hopper on there. And then from that point on, I am pretty sure that this should, oh no, I'm saying should, should be a complete area for the actual uh, canes themselves. Um, and I'll tell you what though, let me go get a trap door and let's see if I can do a bit of decoration with the trap door I'll use a birch trap door not an iron one or anything because it's gonna be hard to do it with an iron one so what I'm thinking is if I put that there you can open it looks pretty cool and also the water won't flow through once I uh, unleash all the water <laughs> so let me actually get a bucket of water Place it there, and get a book, bucket of water, place it there. And now I'm going to get rid of this. 
most fun part of it, to be honest with you. So now all that flows into there. So once they grow, I can open it, have a look, and they'll all go into here. And that is, yeah, like I said, a um, fully functional farm. You didn't need too many ingredients. All you needed was as many pistons as you need, and as many actual, as many redstone repeaters as, like, how many <laughs> pistons you need. You need one observer, and sugar cane, water, and sand, and that is literally it. I like to use glass panes to um, sort of create my own little uh, design for this, and I'll I'll sort that out in a second. As as soon as I get rid of one of these, I'm gonna put one of them there. And I think glass panes definitely do look a lot better than actual cobblestone. So I need to sort out this room because I'll show you where that back bit leads out to. If you've been watching and why is that is it fell through or something? Can it do that? That's really weird. Anyway, I'll, I'll carry on with what I was saying. I'll uh, show you where that area leads to. It's here. <laughs> so, in fact, I might do this back bit as glass, so then you can actually see every time I walk past it, how this actually works within itself, without you lot being confused. And Yeah, you know, I think that's a pretty good shout if I try that with it, to be fair. So, I'm um, gonna need to smelt some glass to be able to fill this all in with uh, glass. I don't know why I, why I, I thought really wrong then. So the night vision potions that I was talking about then, not invisibility. You see how it's like really dark around everywhere? Drink this bad boy, and it now looks like it's daytime. Which is pretty, pretty darn cool. The one thing I don't like is all the, like, the bubble effects and particles. So let me get a name tag from here. Can you ride a sheep? I don't know. Possibly. And we'll have one sheep. And I'm pretty sure if I type in this. So this now should work because before I, ca I put a capital Jeb. So where's, where's fake Jeb? We'll put real Jeb here. <gasps> Look at him. Oh my gosh, good rainbow sheep. I'm tempted to just name all these Jeb. No, where's fake Jeb? Fake Jeb, where are you? Hello? Fake Jeb, you're there. I'm actually going to name you something else, and if you've watched any other YouTuber series, you will know exactly what my next name tag is going to be. And if you don't... I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what Dinner Bone does. Uh, where's Fake Jeb? Hello, Fake Jeb. We can tell which one's real Jeb, because <laughs> he's just there. Ta-da! <laughs> Dinner Bone makes him all invisible. Invisible? I don't know. Right. I I feel like I need to make an invisibility potion now, just to uh, get rid of my craving to become invisible. But that that's pretty funny. It's just, he eats the same and everything, and oh, that, that's hilarious. I don't mean not sound like I think it is, but trust me, it is. So let me go create a uh, invisibility potion. Use that, and I'll actually show you its effect against mobs as well, which is pretty cool. If you don't know what it does against mobs, oh boy, you're in for a treat. Uh, in fact, let me have enough room for all of my stuff, including my armor as well. So let me sort these panes out into here somewhere. Get an awkward potion brewing up, and I actually need a golden carrot. So let's go over here. I'm pretty sure I've got we need eight pieces of gold, don't we? Oh, I need. To, I'll, I'll smelt some of them. I got some gold smelting up for us. Uh, yep. And when this is done and I've created the potion, I'll be right back with you.
Right, now I've got the actual main sort of uh, potions going off. Like I've got night vision and I've just created night vision again, Avatar. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you create it? I'm pretty sure it's a fermented spider eye. But you need one of those. You need a spider eye. And I'm pretty sure you need some sugar. So let's, you know what? Put one on me just in case. I mean, we've got 28 already. But let's go see if our actual uh, farm is working pretty well. Definitely, yeah, no, I wouldn't have got out yet. But it looks like it might start working decent enough. So now I've actually got sugar going off too. Um, where are you? There you are. Fermented spider eye. I only have one potion of bottle in here. One potion of bottle. Is that how you say it now? <laughs> I've definitely got other posts. Well, I don't know what's going on. Right, I'm going to be real with you. I've probably tried doing this episode about six times and I, j I just keep screwing up for it. So it's killing me. <laughs> so let me put these water bottles in here. And every word I think I'm going to mess up, I'm going to just say like that. So let's go over here. Uh, my night vision's wearing off. So let's get my night vision underway. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Let's run back up here. Let's get this ferment right, fermented spider eye going. Um, let's actually put this one in here because I'm going to try and use one potion rack at a time. Let's get my nether warts underway. Get that sorted out so then when this is brew i will be back with you and if i have any action towards my uh thing down there i'll i'll, I'll let you know <laughs> in fact i do believe we need to put an open door on as well as sort out a sign for ourselves where would we put our sign i know exactly where we put our signs we got the brewing room sorted out, so now we can knock that sign down. Um, let's get a fermented spider eye. Awkward potion, why aren't the fermented spider eye working? Um, it's an awkward potion. So, fermented spider eye. Attack now. Sorted. Boom. Uh, why isn't that working? How the hell do you create one? To create a. Invisibility potion. Aha! I figured it out now. You actually need to get a night vision potion. So let me get these night vision potions out of here. Um, let me trade the night vision potion. Wait, no, 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 stop. Get the night vision potions in here. So then, once all of them are night vis potions, yep, get a fermented spider eye, and boom. Wow, I, d <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to uh, sort those out. But we've got awkward potions anyway for the next uh, potion trip. But once that uh, is done, I will be able to show you what effect it has on mobs. But it's not night time at the minute, so I'm going to sit on my automated farm until it becomes night time. And I should be able to tell when it becomes night time. Yeah. So when it's night time, I'll uh, holler at you. <laughs> right, so it's finally night time. And I was going to say, oh no, I'll put my armor in, but I haven't got much of armor to really hide at all. So basically, I'm going to use an invis pot, you go invisible, it is what it, it is, what it is. <laughs> so you go over here, and look, right next to the zombie, and this zombie's got an enchanted sword which looks pretty cool, and look, he, he cannot see me at all. I don't know if I can, can I punch him, anyone know where I am? Nope, he softly now knows where I am, softly, no he now no, he know now. He knows where I am. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the great thing about a um, invis potion. I mean, 
you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, while it's uh, all watery outside and everything, I'm going to end my episode in here. So if you did enjoy, please be sure to let me know by hitting that subscribe button or hitting that like button. And if you do, you'll end up on this subscriber field and you can't really see me swiping or do anything. So, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you people in the next episode. Peace.